Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Let's Cook, episode eight. And I'm Sylvester, known as the Weight Loss King, and thank you for joining us today. All those members who don't know of me, as I just said, I'm Sylvester, the Weight Loss King, and I help women lose weight for the very last time. So welcome to the second live video for this week. And today I've got double trouble. Yes, last week was double trouble, and this week is double trouble. So what I'm doing, Loretta is still at work, so I've got the new phone recording, and I've got my older phone here. So just in case, if anybody is um, asking any questions, I may be able to see you as I'm doing this video. So I'm not too sure, but anyhow, I will try and answer questions. Hi, Leanne. And hi, Lisa. Okay, I can just see you. I'm like, lucky I've got 2020 eyesight. Yeah, it's watching. Okay, great. So, like I said, welcome to episode eight of Let's Cook. Today, back due to popular demand, is double trouble. So, today we've got, hi, we've got savory and we've got sweet. So, we've got a main meal or lunch and we've got dessert or a snack so today you would have got the ingredients as i post up the shopping list every week and these recipes come from my meal planners that are available on my website which i will post for you and yes leanne double trouble is always great and i'm always in trouble by the way um, so today we are cooking from my range of immunity recipes pack. Uh, we will be cooking egg and turkey stuffed capsicums or stuffed peppers for those um, of our wonderful members from um, the States, which were probably are too busy with the election going on. So egg and turkey stuffed peppers. So the very first thing I want you to do, you need to turn on the oven and have it on about 200 degrees Celsius because we want the oven nice and, nice and hot, okay? That's the first step. So the second step that we're going to be doing is actually the most important step of all, I've almost forgot, is to have that glass of wine. So whatever you prefer, I prefer a nice, strong Sicilian red, bold red. You like white, cheese, and let's have a drink first. Ah, beautiful. That really sets the tone. And just let me know once again what type of wine you like. Depends what you eat, but yes, each to their own. Anyhow, moving forward, oven's on at 200 degrees. I've got my new stand here and first of all what we're going to do is we're going to get the fry pan going. You can, I hope you can hear me, you can put coconut oil or olive oil. It's really up to you what you would like. I'll just move that wine out the way. And don't forget, I've got more recipes in my free download of the Weight Loss Planner, free of charge, 150 page planner. Please check that out on my group page, Losing Weight for the Very Last Time, and you'll see links there. Download it. It will track and progress your journey in losing weight for the very last time. Like I did 16 years ago. So we've got the fry pan on. The first thing we want to do is we want to add one chopped red onion. It doesn't have to be red. I, just, I like the Spanish onion because the Spanish onions are sweet. Just all like my beautiful women who are watching this show right now. Sweet. So sweet ones going there. So let's cook up the onions first. Bit of olive oil. Um, we don't need to add salt or pepper at this stage, so let's put that to one side. Okay, 
I hope. Who's that? Salute. Yes. Let's salute again. Whoa. I love cooking. It's one of my best pastimes, to be honest with you. Just love the whole creativity when you see you have all these ingredients and and then it turns into a masterpiece. So it's it is not it is like an art. It's, be, it's about being creative and and most importantly, when it comes to cooking, it's it's having fun along the way. And if you don't make things fun along the way, it just becomes a chore. It becomes a task. And when it becomes a chore and a task, then it goes into the too hard basket, and then we don't do it. So. And I spoke about this in a video that, was, um, that I had a chat with, with one of our group members, Fred, that I did yesterday. And you, you need to, to, to love, you must love the new lifestyle that you will adapt. That's how you lose weight for the very last time, is adapting to your new lifestyle that you love, okay? So, okay, enough talking for a little while. I just like to throw in a bit of mentoring and along the way because that's what I do and that's who I am and I hope that you really enjoy it. So the onions are in. So once the onions, onions are in, then we need to add, and it goes brown a bit, we need to add some turkey mint, mints. So I just bought this turkey from um, Coles, that's an Australian supermarket here in Australia. And yeah, it's really lean actually. So turkey tends to be a lot more lean than chicken. So why not? So let's put that in. Now, it says that you need probably about half a kilo. 450 grams to half a kilo. And just remember that if you have any of this left over, then we can use it for the next day into a sandwich. I mean, so yeah, same Leanne. I hardly even use turkey mints, so it's my first time. It's actually my first time in cooking this recipe. So that's what I normally do most of the time. Most of the time, when I do these recipes for my meal plan, it's either the first time or second time. But um, that way, at least I can experience and pass on with you at the same time as well. So, so turkey. That's in there. And if you find that it gets a bit dry, just lower your heat or you can add a bit of extra olive oil. It's, um, it's fine it's, it, on the scale of things. But you'll find that the turkey mince will have a bit of uh, moisture. So that's in there. While that's in there cooking, let's add some salt. And ooh, when I go to Rio de Janeiro, I go to. Here we go, look, here we go, look. Let's mix it. Salt and pepper. There we go. Wasn't there a 90s band called Salt and Pepper? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I know. I'm a loose cannon. Love to have fun, love to entertain. One day I will have a real cooking show. But this is my cooking show, because I was reminded yesterday, this is my cooking show, so I'm living the dream. Okay, living the dream. It's on my bucket list, Leanne. And I'm doing my bucket list right now. So if anybody wants to tick off their items on a bucket list, then speak to Leanne, who's on our lose, uh, Losing Weight for the Very Last Time Facebook page, and she helps people tick off their bucket to-do list. Isn't that right? Okay. So that's in there now. So we've added the onion, we've added the oregano, uh, the salt, pepper, the turkey mince. So what we need to do now is add some oregano and I pronounce it cummins, but it's cummins. So seed. So let's add some oregano. 
I'll just sprinkle them on. Some of this nice Cummins mix. Mmm. Add a bit of that to it. Okay. That and that's off our list that's done. Mix it in. In the meantime, the oven's getting nice and hot. Just like me behind this stove. It's good to have a man behind the stove cooking away. Oh, I love cooking. Love cooking for my fiance Loretta and love cooking for my beautiful ladies on the group as well. Okay, so here we go. So that's almost done. So we have done the we've added the oil, the onions, the turkey mints salt, pepper, oregano, cumin, cummins, and now the next thing we want to we let that cook, the next thing we want to do is, is add some spinach. <laughs> okay, yep, Leanne will post up what she does on the group, I think it's very important. Bucket list is like another weight loss, another, another fun thing to do, living your best life. Let's add some spinach. I just use the, and the spinach, don't worry about it, it will wilter. Is that the word? Yeah, I think it is. It will wilt. <laughs> okay. And sometimes what's the best thing to do with this is to use a spatula. Just to flip it. Okay, so that's going well. I've done some extra spinach, but that's okay. It's almost like a, it's almost like a taco mix, but it's a Turkish, uh, turkey mix. I'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil. I didn't put enough last time. Okay. And sorry if I'm not answering. Yep, okay. So that cooks now for another two minutes. In there. And we just want to throw the turkey on top, like so. Okay. And the amount of spinach that's recommended in the recipe is about two cups, about 60 grams, but never say no to greens. <laughs> Whoops, there goes some, okay. So that's cooking. Just cut it up as thin as possible. And like I said, we're gonna be baking this anyhow, so it's gonna eventually be cooking in the oven. And that way, once this is done, we're getting close to our next step. I'm pretty happy how that is. I'm going to switch that off. Okay, put the spinach to one side. And please keep on having a sip of wine. Put that to one side. To there. And then I'm going to bring another fry pan out. So because this is a egg and turkey stuffed capsicum, then we need to also do the egg part as well. So let's turn on the heat for this one. So all you need to do is add four eggs, four egg whites, some milk, salt, pepper. You can add almond milk, you can add normal milk. You can add your salt and pepper and just give that a good beat. 
and then I'd rather cook this in a separate fry pan altogether because one, that fry pan's already pretty full and two, it just, yeah, you don't want to mix the, the flavours at this stage when we're cooking. Okay, so. I'm thirsty tonight. Next one. Let's go in for the egg. Okay, eggs in. So what happens after this is that why this is why that's yep that's going well and why this is doing this here as well so what you need to do for your next step is you need to get yourself some capsicums i've already done mine so i basically have cut the top take remove the core and give the wash in the inside so that's what i've done we don't, we're not going to use the top, we can completely remove it all together. Okay, I'll tell you a funny story, I went to buy some capsicums, I bought the capsicums today, and got them from Coles, and I'm thinking, and they were half price, thinking, wow, great, I mean, I've got the capsicums at half price, because at the moment, capsicums are like $10 a kilo, and that's okay, so I thought, oh, wow, and there was five capsicums in this particular bag, I'm thinking, great, it was like $3.50. So I got myself an absolute bargain today for the capsicums and, and I got home and then I'm unpacking the capsicums and then I just discovered that the capsicums are all like, that. I mean these ones are all red but they've got a touch of yellow and a touch of green. I'm thinking how cool is that? Multicoloured capsicums, right? But they're not perfectly straight, they're like deformed. And so on the packet, I read that they've rejected capsicans. And I thought, well, that's no good. So um, uh, they're a bit lopsided, but when I put them against the actual tin, baking dish, sorry, they'll, they'll stand up. So I mean, who, it's not nice being rejected. I remember when I was overweight and I was always rejected and bullied and stuff. So I said, well, you know what? I'm not going to reject the capsicums and they'll go in at the same time, so it's not nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cooking the egg in that. Once again, you might see that there might be, I've got actual five capsicums in here and it might be handy at times to have extra capsicums just in case you've got leftovers. And if you do have any leftovers afterwards, don't panic. Just put your left, put, put the mixture to one side, and then tomorrow, buy some taco shells, buy some pita bread, some wholemeal pita bread, and make yourself some wraps. So it doesn't hurt to, to do that. Okay, that's off. And that's my egg already cooked. Okay, egg's already done. Okay, so so now, whoops, I fell over then. <laughs> Occupation, health, and safety. Stuff the capsicums, yes, and a dessert. So here we go. So we want to stuff the capsicums, so basically cut them and we want, we want to stuff them with egg and turkey. So it doesn't, I mean, there's no big deal how we do it first. You can mix it, you can go the, the mix, the egg, the mix, the egg. It's, it's all, all good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put that to one side, I hope you can see it. I'm going to bring across a towel. You can see that, and you can see now the capsicum and the egg. I'm going to put it here on the cloth, okay? And I'm going to put these poor little capsicums to one side, 
and that way I can show you one. How nice is that capsule cap? Spoon. So just add. Make sure you try and get as much in there as possible. I'll leave that one there and I'll grab It goes in there. Actually, I think you put the, the meat in first, the egg in the middle. How cool is this? Then put the mince on top. Like so. This looks good. Oh wow, this looks fantastic. Right? And then what you do is then, you break out the cheese. I've got some nice mozzarella cheese. Hmm. Clean hands. And put the cheese on top. So everything is basically cooked. All that needs to cook is the actual capsicum itself. And there you go. I'll come around and show you that. Looks yummy, doesn't it? I know. How cool is that? Hi Lisa. So there you go. So let's put that one. And look at the colours on this capsicum and how it's multicoloured. We jacked it. It's beautiful, like a butterfly. Okay, so it goes into there. Let's put that to one corner. Perfect. And let's continue. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in the mince. Make sure it's in there. Put in the egg. And then it's nice to have that nice mixture on top with that bit of spinach on top so it gives it nice colouring. And then we're going to throw some cheese on top. Imagine how lucky Loretta is, Loretta is when she comes home tonight. Okay, let's continue on. It goes in, and the whole family, I mean, can do this and participate. The couples, doesn't matter, just have fun. And we go again. So great protein in this one. And this is part of the immunity recipe pack that I have on my website which you can buy and download as a digital format. Okay. That stuff, sometimes you have to get your hands in there. There's our third one. It goes in there. Goes in there as well. A bit more. Yeah, push it down with the bottom part of the spoon. Sorry, I can't see the comments, but I'll I will check them. Okay, that's number four. And lucky last one is pure red. <laughs> Doing quite good with the um, the mixed, probably a bit more extra egg than normal, but that's okay. And then a little bit more, and push it down. Push it down, add some cheese, add some cheese, and that one can go in the middle. And you can see that the capsicums are all done.
So I'll just line them up in here so they don't move around. Time to go into the oven. Okay, 200 degrees. Okay, there we go. So the capsicum part's done. Okay, we're gonna leave that to one side, the parsley that we'll need later on. So now we've got some left over. I'm just going to put that into one for now. And put all that to one side. So now, that goes in there for about 15 minutes. Okay, nice, a nice hot oven. Like I said, all the, all the ingredients are already pretty well cooked. So we just need to really want the capsicums to, to cook so it's nice and, so at least the cheese will melt for sure, but we just want the capsicums I mean, I had a question the other day, can you eat capsicums raw? Well, you can eat pretty well in it raw, but I wouldn't eat it raw, but you just want enough so it, it browns up, so it's, it's quite nice. So nice and not soft, soft, but it has a nice part. I'll just put this in the fridge. We don't want the cheese to go off. Okay, so that's to one side. That's the capsicum, I'm just gonna clean this up so we can do our sweet. So last time we made another, we made a nice smoothie. So this is similar, easy to make. I like to work in a clean kitchen, but you probably noticed that, right? <laughs> We don't need this board, it goes underneath. Looks so like that's my new stand. How cool is that? Just to one side. And that's for afterwards. Okay, so. Ah, oh, raw capsicum and salad. That's a great idea, Leanne. Yep, and you, yep, it's good that the partners cook together, so we're the same. So, okay, so they're in there. So what's in there? Mmm, God, that smells nice. While that's cooking, we can get on to the second part. So the second part, I'll just pull out. That's how the capsicums are supposed to look, which I'm pretty sure that will all even look even better. So the next one we want to do, just going through my, here we go. We are making a st strawberry protein chia pudding. Strawberry and chia Pudding, protein pudding. Okay, so this one here you, will, you need to put into the fridge and afterwards. Okay, so I have a blender. I haven't used this one before. It's one of uh, Loretta's new gadgets. You probably would have noticed that Loretta loves gadget so I'm gonna make sure that's turned off. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so st fresh strawberries opposed to frozen. And strawberries on special at the moment, they're like 
two big punnets for five dollars, even six dollars for three. We've got a third of a cup of chia, 30 to 40 grams of protein powder, just plain protein powder. And I am using, which is a better alternative than maple syrup, I am using rice malt syrup. Right, it's less damage. It's got, um, you know, I mean, there is sugar, there's no doubt, but it's a lot less. So if I was, if I would recommend, this one here is also, um, it's an alternative to honey, suitable for vegans, and it's gluten-free, all natural, pure harvest, rice syrup. And 100 mils, or 150 mils, of, of milk or almond milk or coconut water it's whatever you desire to add in there and then now two cups to get in there as well and if you want to make it a bit more fancy what we have done of late is that we just got like a nice little nut mix like a, a granola mix I'll come around and show you. It's like a, a granola mix that has, yeah, pistachio, everything. Yes, Leanne, there's a certain brand that I buy when it comes to protein powders. And a friend of mine who owns the company, an Australian company that does our sponsors for sporting people um, around in Australia. And it's called BSC, Body Science. So this one here is called Low Carb Protein, Lean 5. And it's pure protein. Yes, it's no soy, gluten free, no added sugar. And that's that you can least mix what you want to mix into. So BSC, Lean, Low Carb Protein powder. Nice big bread container. Hello. Hello. I can see you. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's check on the capsicans. Oops. They are cooking really well. Okay, so here we go. You're welcome. Here we go. So, I was told this one has to be in there. Happen. So let's put in some, I mean, what order do we put this in? I tend to try and put the milk so it's not floating in there as much so it's above the blade and then I'll put the strawberries in there and then I'll add protein powder it smells really nice this particular protein powder and then I'll add the chia a third of a cup of chia seeds I'll tell you why it keeps you regular it is for sure. I've noticed that. No, maybe a bit, just a bit too much information, but it's, yeah, chia is really good for your digestion system. And a tablespoon, so I'm trying to make, and you find that this particular uh, syrup, it, doesn't stick too much to the spoon, so you, you, won't, you won't get as much wastage. And just... Hmm. Once again, for anybody else, I'll bring it closely. That's it there. Let's 
can add a little bit more milk. If you know what, if you want to know what milk I use, I use Zimmel. This tends to work better with my system. I'm not too worried about that. So the next step is now we've got all that in one spot. Now it goes back on top. Now I've been told that I need to put this on the whisk function. Okay, so it's in there. Power's on. Let's make sure that my mic hasn't turned off. That's all good. Great. Okay, hope you can see that. And power comes on. That would help. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. There we go. So the whisk has it by itself almost for six seconds. So do I need to do it again? Off it goes. Okay. So that's it. How amazing is that? So just two, you can put two nice cups or you can put it into a bowl. I'll just put it into a cup for now, or into a nice glass. Okay, power off. Down on twist. There she goes, this is strawberry. God, that smells, that smells really nice. So you can see enough for two. Oops. And like I said, if you want to, you can add some granola on top. Don't really have to, but I'll just do it because it just, it tastes great. It gives a nice crunch at the same time as well and just sprinkle on top. And I'll bring it and I'll show you. See, you can see the consistency and then a nice on top. And you put that into the fridge and let that set for about an hour and then you will have your nice dessert once you've eaten dinner. So there is a little bit left there. I'm going to finish it before everybody gets home. So I'll just do a bit of a taste test. Oh. That's amazing. That's really amazing. I'll leave some for Loretta because I feel bad if I don't leave some for her. But one thing I have left for her as well is the dishes. <laughs> it's a mess, but we've got dishwasher, so it's okay. Now, I always help out in the kitchen. It's all good. I think those who know of me know that I'm pretty, pretty good. Okay, our capsicums have been there for about 10 minutes. Let's get that ready. I really hope that you will love the shows. I know sometimes they go long, but it's okay because you can always come back and, and watch them later on because all the videos that we do, being Let's Cook, Let's Chat and Let's Move, are all kept in the group, in the unit section, which is the tab on the top of the group. And you can, and the, they'll have the videos, they'll have the shopping list, and also photos. So all the past ones were done, and we're up to our eighth episode of Let's Cook. So you can, at any given time, please let your friends know. Please share the group with anyone that could benefit losing weight for the, for the very last time. And don't forget to also mention that they can download the Ultimate Weight Loss Planner, 
which I have put together, 150 pages of recipes, movements, mindset. It's all about choosing a lifestyle that you love and that you can do and adapt to for the rest of your life. Now, enough talking because I can talk underwater. Okay, so. So what do we cook or what do we add with the capsicums? Well, that's up to you. You can have the capsicum by themselves or you can put the capsicums on a bed of rocket or you could have it with some rice or some couscous. You can add some steamed vegetables with it. You can dress it and you can add. We can have it by itself, but these capsicums are quite big. So don't forget inside the capsicum, you've got the turkey, mince, You've got the spinach, the onions, the herbs, and you've got the egg as well, and the capsicum. So it's a quite a big meal. But if you want something on the side, just a simple, a nice salad. I'm not too sure whether or not if I've got any letters. I do, so let's do that. And I've got something else which I love to put on the side, and that is good old fashioned Mediterranean olives, okay? So this is some ideas what we can do for the side of this. Is, this is the whole idea, this is the street cooking. You know, it's about just finding what you have in the fridge and to go for it. Okay, two plates. I'm just gonna put them there and I'm gonna put this to one side, my little rack that I use. Okay. Like that. And like that. So that way you do that from a height so it just breaks all up. Okay, so that's done. And that's there. Okay, we can add some olives, but we'll do the olives at the end. And what we can do is, we can just dress it with a bit of olive oil, like so. And we're going on the fly here, boys and girls. Salt and pepper. Okay, we just need to adapt and to change. And let's go for limes. Limes are on special at the moment. I leave this cherry tomato John, yeah, perfectly, and that's all you're gonna do. Perfect, exactly, exact mondo. Okay, so let's squeeze, let's cut. Not using the right knife here. Okay. Nice little easy gadget to squeeze your limes. And just let's Squeeze some lime on top of the rocket, like so. Okay, go around, make it all nice and pretty, and so like that. And don't forget, we also got the parsley, all right, to dress as well. But the parsley, we can put the parsley on top. Okay, so we've got that and that. You can see how I've dressed it. And the olives will put at the end. Don't forget your wine also. Mm. Let's have a look in the oven. Oh, that's nice. Leanne is right. We don't need to overcook the capsicums because you can have them raw in the salad. It's, I've forgot about that, and yet it's spot on. Okay. And it doesn't hurt to have a bit of colour on the cheese because it just gives that nice rustic look as well. We don't want perfection. Don't forget, I bought these capsicums and these were reject capsicums, and that's why they're a little bit lopsided. But $3.50, I'm pretty happy with that. 
Okay. Now I want to grab them and find the biggest tongs that I have. They're a bit more stable. What we're going to do is then, we're going to put some olives around the edge in. These have a mixture of Kalamata and normal green olives, so black and green. Yeah, let's do that. Black, green, black, green. Okay, olives onto one side. I will show you this, so I'm going to be a little bit quiet. I don't want to put too much on the cups again, because I want to show you a bit of Parsley. It's quite cute how this capsicum goes on the side. Okay, a lot of work goes into doing this each Wednesday, but it is rewarding at the same time as well. So what I'm going to do is, So you can see, I'm going to bring this over. Now, how does that look? Stuffed egg and turkey capsicum on a bed of rocket, seasoned with salt, pepper, lime, and Mediterranean olives. And for dessert, we've got our fresh strawberry, chia protein pudding as well. Looks good, thank you. <laughs> I'm really happy how this has all turned out. Voila. Bon appetito for two. And this will go straight into the fridge. Well, I know we've gone for about 30, 35 minutes. And I really appreciate your patience. I know that when it comes to cooking, you can't rush these things, right? So these will go into the fridge. You've got your sub, sub capsicums and it just gives you uh, an alternative when it comes to savory versus sweet. You can have this for dessert, you can have this for snack, you can have this for lunch. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter when you eat it, 
just eat when you're hungry. Don't eat when you're not hungry. Or don't eat because it's 12 o'clock or 5 o'clock or it's breakfast. So just listen to yourself. Everyone's different when they're hungry. And just make sure that you eat something which you really love and enjoy. And this is the whole idea when it comes to the Let's Cook episodes. It's just giving you some ideas and bringing fun back into the kitchen. Once again, take a look at my website. I've got some great recipes and meal plans. Make sure you download the Ultimate Weight Loss Planner. I know I'll keep on saying it, but it's my heart and soul into this one. It's a free download. There's no gimmicks or catches or tricks or potions or any of that. It's a good old, honest download of all your recipes, exercises and mindset you can do. And most importantly, for six months, you can track and you can progress and, and, and track your progress and then adjust along the way when it comes to losing weight for the very last time. But at the end of the day, you must love your new lifestyle and be able to adapt to it for the rest of your life. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm Sylvester, known as the Weight Loss King, helping women lose weight for the very last time. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock when we've got our episode right just over there in the lounge room of Let's Move. We do 20 minutes of moving your body. Until tomorrow, have a great evening, buon appetito, and I'll see you soon. Any questions, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thank you, bye for now.